All right, let's do this. What's going on YouTube? A lot of you guys have been asking me for another video. I've been lurking in comment sections and, um, you know, just paying attention to the whole vegan implosion that's been happening on YouTube. Although throughout the rest of the world, it's absolutely exploding, which is fine. I don't really care. Um, all I care about is the truth. I care about being healthy, care about being optimally efficient, having performance, having happiness, et cetera, et cetera, right? So what we're gonna talk about today is why I don't put that much faith in studies. Uh, we have known for a long time that nutritional science is not that good. Um, maybe it's good on the carnivore side. Maybe I believe the stuff that they say. Maybe it's good on the vegan side. Maybe some people believe what they say. I know I do not. Um, this is why. Anecdotes are important. Anecdotes and experience is all we have to go on, you know? Um, the funny thing is a lot of the vegans that are on YouTube that are these like, I call them internet armchair commandos, they're all up in the comment section, they're furious, they know everything. First of all, most of these vegans do not even know another vegan in real life. A lot of times when I'm rebutting these people in comments, I like to point out that I lived in Hawaii for two years around dozens and dozens of other vegans. Why do I say this? Because once I met other vegans in real life, I started to see it wasn't the silver bullet cure-all that I once thought it was, okay? I met people with cystic, chronic, horrible acne. I met overweight vegans. I met underweight vegans. I met just flat out sick vegans, vegans that look like absolute shit, okay? Um, nobody I know was a, an amazing athlete by any means. Um, with the exception of Tim Sheaf, and we've seen what's happened with Tim Sheaf since my last video. Um, you know, I knew Tim in Hawaii. I met Tim and hung out with him, and um, he's still an amazing athlete compared to the average person, but compared to himself, judging by his own abilities, you know, the guy was a champion, a world champion parkour athlete in 2009. Never went to the gym, never lifted weights, and he was a fucking tank. Okay, he was buff as hell, super strong, just absolutely invincible. Goes on vegan diet, four or five years later, he's seeing the decline, okay? I was in contact with Tim before he went public. Shout out to Tim, I love that guy. And he was telling me he was getting injured doing hot yoga. So you go from world-class parkour athlete, jumping off goddamn buildings, to injuring yourself in yoga next to 60-year-old women who have zero muscle mass and are probably just eating regular diet and they're actually holding up better than he is. Does that make sense to you? Does that sound like an improvement in somebody's physical well-being or not? Oh, but he drank piss. Oh, but he... But... Those are signs of a desperate person looking for answers. You don't go to that as your first option. You go to veganism as your option when you're not doing well on whatever it is you're eating before. Maybe it's you're eating a little too much junk food. Maybe you're partying a little too much, sleeping bad. You think to yourself, huh, let me, let me jump on that vegan diet. That makes sense, eating plants and vegetables and fruits. Like, how can that be wrong? All these vegans seem to have scientific evidence. You've got doctors, Dr. Michael Greger, you know, he's putting out all these videos, very informative. Little do you know that Dr. Michael Greger has the muscle mass of a 12-year-old girl, looks absolutely terrible. I would never follow the advice of somebody to look like that if I knew what he looked like a long time ago. Most people just brush that off. Having high muscle mass isn't, a, isn't proof that you're healthy, Drew. Well, being weak and sickly looking is also not a sign that you're healthy. So anyways, getting back to the topic at hand, once you do realize that veganism is not the silver bullet cure-all for absolutely everything, you, your illusion is burst, essentially. So meeting other vegans will let you break through the veil. It will let you see that maybe you do have good results on the diet. Maybe you are an anecdote that can tolerate the vegan diet well, but when you meet a lot of other people, a lot of other vegans, you'll see that it's not a panacea. It's not amazing in every single case. Um, once that illusion is burst for you, you can start to think a little bit more logically. Um, I will have to say that, you know, that was probably the downfall of me starting to really question everything. Once I saw other people who weren't getting amazing results, and then it started to make me reflect on my own body and realizing, hey, I'm not really getting that great of results. Maybe, maybe it is the diet. Maybe I need to tweak things further and maybe I need to think a little bit more objectively about this. 
you know, I was making videos about uh, vegans needing more protein, not even six months into living in Hawaii. So I remained vegan for another year and a half after that video. But right at that point is when I realized that I couldn't take my body physically any further. And I was stuck at 143 pounds, which is really small for me. I went vegan at 168 pounds, mind you. Um, you know, I, I was cycling a lot and I just kind of blame my lack of strength on, eh, maybe I'm cycling, maybe my body's cleaning itself out. I'm detoxing, blah, 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 blah. There's a lot of, mm, there's a lot of ways that vegans mask their symptoms, uh, both emotionally and in the support groups that we have on the internet and in YouTube, especially you'll see these vegans, especially what I love is a vegan say, you know, they're eating 30 to 40 grams of protein a day. And they go up and they, they flex their arm and they go, where do vegans get their protein from, bro? And then they flex their little toothpick arm and uh, it's supposed to prove something like, dude, you're emaciated. You might want to go see a doctor. You might go get some IV fluids into you or something because you look terrible. Anyway, so long story short, you know, this isn't really an update video on anything. It's just me kind of making a piece of documentary, a piece of commentary on the current state of things. Uh, I am fully, thoroughly enjoying what I'm eating now, my life now. It's, uh, I've gotten my body back. I've gotten my mind back. Um, uh, there's so many little intricate details to the whole thing that you can't put together once you are outside of it. It's like a bad relationship. You know, you, uh, these people that are in bad relationships, you know, where they might be being abused emotionally, physically, or whatever, um, you know, inside of it, they can justify it. They keep justifying it. They see a little bit of good and then they ignore the 90% of the bad. You know, maybe the vegan diet did help you. Maybe you did lose weight on the vegan diet. Maybe you did feel better on the vegan diet, but was it a result of the vegan diet itself or was it a result of getting away from the super shitty diet you had before you went vegan? Hmm. Let's think about that. A lot of people are coming from a standard American diet. They have no control over their health. They have no athleticism. They have nothing. All of a sudden they go vegan. They start taking control of these things. They start exercising. They start feeling good. They start drinking water. They stop drinking alcohol. Like a lot of changes generally happen the time that people go vegan. This is just a fact. This is what happened with me. I didn't drink ca caffeine for two full years after going vegan. And I felt, I thought I felt great. Well, I, was, I also stopped drinking alcohol getting wasted once or twice a week. And, uh, and I didn't eat fast food anymore and stuff like that. So of course I felt a little bit better, but you know, again, for me, by the two year mark, I was already seeking other answers. I was already seeking a juice fast. Why would you need to juice fast? Why would you need a water fast? If you are on the supposed healthiest diet in the world? Um, Hmm. Food for thought. So that's it. I'm out. Peace.